welcome you all this is my closet <laughs> as you can see you're probably like where is she so that's why the um i tried to lighten it up a little bit we just have the light overhead and it's not really enough space for me to bring my ring light in so um i'll be back on that in a little while because i'm going to do another video for vlogmas but um as i was saying hello welcome um all the people who are new thank you for being here and i hope that you hear something that touches your heart while you're here and when you're done and on your way out make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that every time and tap the bell so that every time i upload a new video you will be able to be right on the front row with all of the slady squad and slady squad who's here welcome back and i have missed you all i've been gone because i skipped um the last prayer corner um that's when i was just i was just out of it it took a lot for me to recover after moving and so i just uh took a lot of time to kind of organize and then get rest and so um i've been away from my channel for about three weeks so here i am back and ready to jump into swinging things and i wanted to show you the space that i am preparing as my prayer corner within my home and this is a small part of the closet and I like it because there's no distractions um, and then also what you're seeing here on the wall um, I'm able to put up some scriptures on um, little post-it notes and things that are reminders to me of who I am whose I am and um, it helps me to get through uh, some of those challenging days and um, just when I may need to make decisions this would be a great place for me to come and to hear a word from God so that I can know which direction to go in and what kind of uh, uh, how to solve problems and you know make decisions so I wanted to also show you now it is in a boxy charm box, <laughs> but it's nothing for boxy charm. So, but I like the color. So this is a blue, because you know my favorite color is blue, right? Yeah, you know that. Um, and so that's why I turned this inside out. But one of the Bible studies that we had um, during that time that I was away from the channel, we heard that we should have a our first aid kit, and the first aid kit this one is for when we are struggling or hurt as uh, Christians and it does being a Christian does not mean that we're never going to have any uh, illnesses any um, problems with bills problems on our job problems with problems with um, home uh, students children it does not um, say that we will be free of that but it does say that God is there to help us through each and every one of those things and I have learned that once you go through something you should share it so that someone else who's going through the same thing can have an easier not an easier time but a better time of getting through because now instead of trying to do whatever it is on their own they're able to do it with the help of God so what's in my first aid kit what would you put in your first aid kit and does anyone have this type of area in your home um the movie called it the war room and it is a war against um against the negative spirits the um the spirit realm anyone who's trying to uh cause your just your day your your situations your um jobs everything that you have trying to flip it upside down and this is a place where you just go in and you pray and you lay it before god and god sends out his angels to fight our battles so this is a great place for me as far as a war room um inside of my box my first aid kit is <laughs> i put some cocoa buttercream in here and also some 
something for my lips because when my mouth gets dry and my hands are dry it is a distraction to me i'm like rubbing my hands all the time um i'm feeling the dry skin on my lips and it kind of distracts me from what i need to be doing and it also um reminds me <laughs> too that I need to drink more water I need to put some water in here but these are things that I brought and put in my first aid kit to um, help me fight that and to remind me that this illness that I have and the medicines that I take God has it all under control so you know this is why I put these in here I also have this our daily bread book um, I love this because on the back um, there's a topic index so whatever it is that you're dealing with it has it here listed and then you can go in and find the story or the verse that helps you out with that situation for example I like having this book here so whatever it is that I'm dealing with um, I can find the story and the scriptures in here that can help me and it doesn't matter that this is the September November book you can pull some older our daily breads and they're all gonna have the same time index in there I have this book I am not sure where I received this book but it's called the book and it says that it can change your life by helping you discover joy it's the power of prayer and the promise of eternal life and it has like a little chapter here and this is a book that a lot of believers get when they first accept God um, and they say that they want to change their lives and live their life with Christ. And this is a book that's given them a time. Um, and it has just all kinds of information in here, who are, which is for believers who are young in Christ. And it doesn't, it doesn't hurt for me anyway to go back and read through this and get some pertinent information that I may have forgotten or that I need to reread so that I can remind myself that there is and that God is for me and he has my back and he's everything to me and so sometimes just going back and reading through this is just a reassurance of um, knowing this with you I also have a notebook that I make notes in and I started this notebook right when my husband and I separated and there's a lot of in here about um you know i was dealing i was writing down things that i just couldn't believe i had gone through um and i was just journaling and but i also have some um songs in here i have dreams because sometimes I dream heavy and i'll wake up and i'll write my dreams down um or even a sermon that the pastors at my church have um spoken that week and i leave this because I'm always ready to jot something down and a lot of times I don't do it because I don't have a book but that's in here as well of course my Bible is in here the reason why I put the written book one in here is because this is the one that I can actually draw in highlight and all of those things and I don't do that while I'm in church I typically will go on my phone and use the Bible app that's on there but this is in here so that I can uh, find scriptures quicker and also put notes in here so a lot of times I'll open up um, when a pastor is preaching and I'll be like wow we read that already and I can hear the pastor saying the same thing of the notes that are in here that I may have heard from a different pastor or from some um, Bible study or something of that nature so I like having this here I can draw in it and you know mark pages and a good thing to have and then I have tissues because it's okay to cry um, that's my phone right there there was a scripture today and I can't remember what it was and I'm mad at myself that I can't remember but no today it was a couple of days ago but it was saying that if you sow in tears weep in joy basically what it's saying is that God sees your tears. It's okay to cry. It cleanses you. It helps you to release um, tension and the ill feelings that you're having. It helps you to calm down. It's just, it's just a spiritual cleanse. God sees your tears and he knows what you're going through with those tears and you reap joy because God 
you've shown God, trust him and that you need his help and that you know to come to him. And so to reward us for staying close and remembering that he has our back. If y'all can hear the dog, but he's barking. So one more second, please. I promise because just distracting me. <laughs> okay. So um, I took him for a walk and fed him before doing this thinking you know i'm gonna get 15 minutes <laughs> now he out there barking now he was in here he kept looking at me crazy so i put him out it's like you know if you're gonna be in here you gotta sit down i'm sitting actually on his dog bed <laughs> so ladies and visitors um i just put this here just to kind of share with you how I got through these um, past three weeks after moving in and just needing to get everything and get settled, get things um, set up, um, deal with the money. Um, oh, one other thing I wanted to tell you is that um, you got to trust God. If you pay your tithes, if you pay your tithes, um, you can always go to God and say, you know, God, you told me uh, to pay my tithes and you told me you would help me out. And um, so this past week, um, when I got my security deposit back from the other apartment, I was like, yes, okay, so now I can pay all my bills because that security deposit was no joke. It was off the chain. Um, so um, I was able to get the security deposit back from the other apartment and help me to catch up on bills and stuff. I paid my cable bill. Um, I was able to get the security deposit back from the other apartment and help me to catch up on bills and stuff. I paid my cable bill twice. I don't know if I did it both times or if it was automatically withdrawn and then I went behind that and paid. Long story short, that happened on December the 1st. It is December the 11th, I believe is today. So <clears throat> the day before the negative amount, I called and I told them, look, my account's about to be overdrawn. I'm trying to pay bills. The money that I double paid, <clears throat> I need that back. And so they were like, oh, well, you can only get the, the uh, overage amount. We will refund you that, which was like half less than what I was asking them for. And I was like, no, my bill is not due until the 20th. And so you do not need a, a double payment from me. And I want that amount back. So through all those different people that I talked to, through all the going back and forth, they were telling me, send this, um, screenshot this, email this to so-and-so, text this to so-and-so, go to the bank and get a, a letter from them saying that you double pay. I jumped through every hoop that they asked me to, to get to yesterday. And, and the young lady was like, we're sorry, we can't give you your money back. Long story short, no fees, right? Number one, the $35 fees, none. I don't know why, I don't know how. I did talk to someone at the bank and tell them what's going on. But at that time, my, my account was positive. It wasn't, you know, in a negative. So I don't know if... I don't know. I don't know if they set it up. However, it it worked out. God worked it out is basically what I'm saying. And so I was so grateful. And as I was saying, when you pay your tithes, I, the whole time I was saying to God, I was like, I paid my tithes. You told us if we paid our tithes, if we took care of that, that everything else will fall into place. We don't have anything to worry about. And, you know, that you... It says in the Bible that God, he clothes um, the animals and makes sure they have food and, you know... <clears throat> nature and flowers get what they need how would he not make sure that i would have what i need and so i just kept going to god each night please lord work it out and it finally worked itself out the amount went in today the entire amount that i was asking them for no 35 dollar um amounts taken out and i was just i said that's god that is god because i was on the phone truly truly thankful to god and that's my testimony letting you know you know, trust God. Build yourself a little space in your home where you can sit and pray with God. You can sit and go through your scriptures. You can sit and cry if you need to. You can sit and praise God and give him thanks. And you don't have to worry about who's watching you or who sees what you're, you know, how you cry or, you know, I don't want to do the ugly cry. Go in your closet, your little corner of your house, in your bathroom, wherever it may be, and make that space your prayer corner 
So I do know that as a squad, we are praying for our world. We're praying for our leaders. We're praying for um, this transition of our old president to our new one. Um, we're praying for a first woman is a vice president of the United States, a black woman, first time. So, so we're praying that, you know, the people don't give them a hard time, you know. Um, we're praying for our schools, our children. Um, there, some of them are in school, and I know at my son's school, some of them did get sick, and they had to take the school full um, virtual mode for, I think it was like a week or two. Um, just prayer for, our, you know, our people. Um, prayer for you all, and prayer for our squad. You all, I just love talking to you and knowing that I can, um, that I can have a group of people that I'm praying with. We touch and agree. And I'm also truly thankful one of the ladies reached out to me in um, an email and just asked how I was doing and said that, you know, she was wondering if everything was okay. And I really appreciate that. I appreciate the prayers. And I just pray that this um, build up our channel and lets us all grow stronger together. And if you have any prayer requests, put them down in the um, comments down below. And I pray, I check it and I put you on our prayer list. If it's something that you don't want others to know, um, you can email it to me and I'll have my email in the um, comment section. So thank you so much for being here. And let's say a quick prayer before we go out. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you, Lord, for this time. I thank you for this space, God. I thank you for everyone who is in the the um, hearing the sound of my voice. I ask that you touch them, keep them, and bless them, especially during this holiday season. Whatever it is that they stand in need of, Lord, whether it's financial, whether it's something for their health, their families, their jobs. Lord, we ask that you touch them and let them know that you have their backs. Let them know that all they have to do is put everything before you and you will handle it. We trust you, God. We love you, God. We're praying for all of our leaders. We're praying for our children who are in schools. We're praying for people who are on the front lines or helping to take care of those who have COVID. We're praying for those who do have family members who are sick or friends, we ask that you touch and heal God in a way that no one else can, that you comfort God in a way that no one else can, Lord, that you have our backs in a way that no one else can. And we just thank you. We love you, Lord. We give you all praise, glory, and honor because you are due. And it's in your name that we pray, Lord. Amen. And you know what we say around here, whether it's day or whether it is day or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, I hope that is good. Don't forget to praise, ladies, and don't forget to slay. Bye.